70th Vuelta will start with a peculiar parade. The team time trial from Puerto Banús to Marbella was neutralized by the officials on Friday due to several dangerous passages on the 7.4 km long trek. However, if all the racers arrive without major time differences, the time will be used to define the first owner of the red jersey this year. Just as this lighthouse, the Vuelta will shine over Spain for the next three weeks. It starts at the luxurious Andalusian marina Puerto Banús, without title holder Alberto Contador, who ended his season early this year. But Chris Froome, Nairo Quintana and Vincenzo Nibali feel strong enough for another big race after the Tour de France. They should be the major players this year, but not today, as the stage was changed to a mere parade. And the 22 teams have little pressure on the first team time trial. That is, except for those who are hoping for the red jersey. Like Team Jumbo Lotto, the Dutch are the first to take the lead with an average speed of 54 kilometers an hour, but they are soon beaten by Saxo Tinkov. Even without Contador, their leaders Rafael Maika and Peter Sagan have a lot of ambition. Sagan is the first to pass the finish line after 8 minutes and 11 seconds and seems to be the perfect man to wear the red jersey. But one of his compatriots decides otherwise. 18th to start, Peter Velitz, member of the Ponferrada World Champions BMC, passes the finish line at Marbella one second faster than Team Saxo Tinkov, who will have to be content with second place. Velitz had already won two stages on the Vuelta 2010 and this year he couldn't dream of a better start. It's no surprise that Team BMC, confident in their leaders Samuel Sanchez and TJ Van Garderen, have proven strongest today. Naira Quintana and movie star end the stage on ninth place. Team Sky saved their efforts on this opening stage. Froome's teammates finish second to last, one minute and 11 seconds behind the leader. The race has hardly started and things are already getting serious. The 198 participants will immediately have to use the mountain gear train this Sunday to get to Alto de la Mesa Summit the access point of the magnificent Via Ferrata of Caminito del Rey. Five kilometers with an average slope of 6.5% that could be the first crucial point of this Vuelta that already seems well underway here in Marbella.